Mother Nature making her presence known, with some taking it all in stride. The water's really high today, lots of wind. The bomb cyclone weakening as it moved through BC's south coast, but still hitting Vancouver Island and the southern Gulf Islands hard. The historic storm bringing with it rain and winds gusting up to 90 kilometers per hour in some areas. I'm excited for the season. <laughs> A little scary, but it's good. I love it. I love the storms. The powerful storm forced BC ferries to cancel all morning and afternoon sailings between the mainland and Vancouver Island. Many drivers now stranded. Well, it makes you frustrated, but you got to take it as it goes. It's Mother Nature. You understand that, but they can't do anything about it. BC Ferries reiterating that the public safety comes first. There are various factors at play uh, that go into the decision to cancel service. Uh, not only would it be the wind speed, but it's the direction of the wind, uh, the sea state, as well as the wave height. Meanwhile, BC Hydro reporting downed trees and thousands of outages Monday. This, a common scene throughout as crews work to restore power in West Vancouver. It's difficult to predict how much damage a storm will cause and how long a power outage will last for. Crews can be doing anything from taking a branch off a line, restringing wire, or conducting a full-on power pole replacement. So thank you for your patience. It is unclear the full scale of damage, but British Columbians did get a reprieve this time as the most destructive part of the weather bomb moves on. All right, senior meteorologist Christy Gordon joins us now with more on that storm and why it wasn't as intense as we were expecting. Christy? Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't as intense across our region, but it really was when it was out on the coast, Sophie. This was an unprecedented storm in that it broke a record. This was the strongest mid-latitude cyclone we've ever had in the Pacific Northwest with the low pressure center itself, which is kind of like the middle of that cinnamon bun. That's where the most intense winds are. That low dropped to 942.5 millibars. Not only that, it dropped very rapidly, putting it in the classification as a bomb cyclone. But luckily yesterday, it's stalled off the coast. Now it has made its way on shore now, but it's weakened significantly as it has. Now we still have some wind warnings in place. When I come back, we'll show you uh, how much more winds we're expecting for our region. Strongest winds were out in the coast at about 95 kilometers an hour. Certainly still a number of people without power, but uh, we certainly did dodge a bullet this time. Luckily. All right. Thanks for that, Christy.